Welcome back to Add Art. Today's lesson is a spooky one for Halloween. I'm going to show you how to draw three jack-o'-lanterns. You can use this picture for a Halloween poster or even copy the faces for your own carved pumpkin designs. If you do, just remember to get a grown-up to help you carve them. They might be soft and pulpy on the inside, but they have really, really tough skins. Now, before we draw, just a quick reminder to subscribe to Add Art. When you do, you'll be the first to know when I've released more Halloween drawings and other tutorials. OK, let's start carving these pumpkins. First we'll start with the top of the pumpkin. And pumpkins are quite bumpy, so let's put four bumps in the top and then bring it all the way round and down to the bottom. And we'll put some more bumps in. And then we'll continue with another four on the other side. Bring it all the way up to the top. Copy those bumps. Let's put a stalk in here. And the top of the pumpkin carved so you can put a light inside. in. I love these looking quite angry and spooky. Bring that down. Bring the eyeball in. You always have to remember to leave those bits in when you're carving. Let's put the other pupil in there. And let's put some nostrils in. Won't make them the same, make it look a bit weird and strange. Give him a big mouth full of sharp teeth here to make it look extra scary. And apparently this tradition of carving pumpkins is believed to have started in Ireland and uh, they used to carve faces into turnips and other root vegetables during a festival called Semain. Join up those ridges. And this will make our pumpkin appear bumpy. And during Semain, people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off evil spirits. And that festival has grown into Halloween as we know it today. Okay, there's our first spooky pumpkin. Let's give him a friend. Again, start with those four bumps at the top. Bring it down and around, another four. And then continue copying that on the other side. And this one's just sat slightly behind, so it's smaller. Another stalk. There's some really scary eyes. We won't even put the pupils in. Make it look more like a scary skull. Put these little notches in so it looks like teeth. And on the other side, copy that. Once again, join those lines up, and I'm not doing these straight, I'm curving them away from the centre of the pumpkin, making them less bent as I get towards the middle, so 
this middle one's quite straight and then I'm bending that line out towards the edge that so makes it feel curved okay let's start on this third one again the four bumps bring it down and round copy that across the bottom up towards the top we'll give this a stalk leaning in we'll give this pumpkin quite a silly face some big round eyes have one eyeball going in one direction and on this one have the eyeball crazily rolling in the other direction give him some crooked teeth now pumpkins are often referred to as vegetables in cookbooks but they're actually fruit because they have the seeds inside that you scoop out when you're carving a pumpkin Bring those lines down again. I'll just give this a simple background as though it's sat on someone's doorstep during Halloween. underneath Just put some bricks on the house in the background here. And offset some bricks on this side too. And there we have it, there are our three spooky jack-o'-lantern Halloween pumpkins. Hope you've enjoyed drawing along with that one today. Now, before I go, just a quick reminder to check out all my other tutorials like these on my Ad Art channel. You can do this by clicking on my double pencil profile picture. Also, if you've enjoyed drawing along with me today, do give this video a thumbs up as it really helps my channel grow. Finally. If you know someone who'd also love ad art, then please share the channel with them. But that's it for today, and I hope to draw along with you again soon. Bye for now!